Hi, everyone, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. I hope you enjoyed Day 1 and the recap I did on my very first designer box video. What a great box. And tonight, I'm going to be recapping for you my second oldest designer box video. This was published on November 8th, 2021. And um, this was also an amazing box. So I am excited to share it with you. So let's go ahead and get this video launched. Um, tomorrow's Vlogmas, we are going to be opening a jewelry box from the Goodwill box. So that will be coming up. And then Monday will be a normal unboxing. And I'm also going to be doing a recap on the designer collaboration we did, I believe, back in April. So looking forward to that as well. Hope you're having a great weekend and let's go ahead and check out this video and see what items I got and how much they sold for. Hi guys, it's Lindsay. Thank you so much for checking out my channel. If you've been here before or if this is your first time, I really appreciate you stopping by. I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark. And I started this channel to show my unboxings of some of the inventory that I get from ThreadUp and also Goodwill. So if you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing. I do post videos every Monday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. And if you like it, please give me a thumbs up. So today, without further ado, I do have an unboxing for you from ThreadUp. It is a DIY designer box from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. And right now it is Friday night. It's actually the Friday before Halloween. So that's why I have my Halloween nails on. <laughs> so by the time this video goes out, it's gonna be well past Halloween. So I hope everybody had a great one. Um, but this arrived on Tuesday, it's now Friday and it's taken everything in me not to take a sneak peek in this box but I wanted to wait and open it when I could do it on film. So without further ado, let's see what we've got. Um, again, this one came from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. I did film my last designer box that I got um, that was also from Mechanicsburg and it was great. So if you have not seen that video, please check it out when you're done watching this one. So we got our invoice. And I will just show the tissue paper still intact. So you can see I did not dig in there. But it's so hard when you get these. The designer box especially to not take a piece. So I know that at some point, and maybe it'll be this box, but I know I'm going to be due for one that's not very good after the great one that I had. But... I'm always optimistic, and even if you can get a couple good items in the box, it's well worth the money. So definitely the most potential, I would say, with this box. Um, so first, we do have a handbag, and that's kind of taken up the whole view of the box. So we'll just go ahead and look at that first. Um, so it is leather. It does look like it's kind of um, beat up, but you know, more of a distressed look to it. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, and then it has this kind of wooden handle and gold hardware. And this is, trying to see if we can see a brand. Oh my gosh, it's Gucci. What in the world? I can't believe it. Here's a strap. So it looks like it has a shoulder strap. So wow, this was so awesome to get a Gucci handbag right off the top of the box. That was the first uh, Gucci I had received in ThreadUp, so I was super excited about that. This purse was really nice. It was vintage. Um, it did have the bamboo handle, and you could attach a longer strap on as well. It did have signs of wear, but overall, very good condition. I did end up selling this one on Poshmark. So this one sold 
relatively quickly, I think, because that video was airing in early November, and it sold on November 25th for $260. So after fees, I got 255 cents. So already just with that sale, I was in the profit territory. So that was awesome. I haven't had the best luck with the clothing in these boxes. Um, this is Prada. And uh, just like a little tank top, um, kind of like a crepey feeling material. It's real. So this was Prada. It was a silk tank top. Um, very good condition. It did have some poles on it, but it was still really nice. I think I might have listed it on Poshmark, but I was not getting really any action on it. So I did go ahead and send it into the real reel, and that is where it sold. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that. Um, so here it is, Prada Silk V-neck. And um, this one was originally listed for $225. That's not what it sold for. So let me go back to the other screen here. Um, it actually was discounted down 80% and it sold for $45 and I ended up getting a $27 commission. So when they get discounted down that far, they are non-returnable and this was back when they had a better commission structure. So um, I wasn't too upset honestly to get that since I had already made a profit and you know it was listed for a long time and didn't sell. So I got $27 on that one. Just kind of like a midi length skirt and then it's got a little slit in the back. So I've never gotten this brand before, but I have seen it circulating in the boxes. So this looks So this next item was a long maxi skirt by St. John. Um, just really comfy, elastic waist, and it did have the slit on the bottom. I was kind of contemplating keeping this, so I just never did anything with it, and it's kind of still in my dry cleaning uh, bag to go have it cleaned. So I'm not sure if I'm going to hang on to it or eventually sell it, but at this point, it's um, nothing's happened with it, so there's a zero profit on that item. But it's a nice skirt, and it was in very good condition. So let's see what else we received. Next we have a belt. And this is Christian Dior, full grain leather, split leather lining made in Spain. And it looks like it's a size 26. There is quite a bit of wear on the buckle, but the actual leather of the belt looks pretty good. It's got some nice detailing on it. So, so this was a decent item. As you can see, there was a lot of wear on the hardware, but overall it was still in really good shape and a great brand. I did end up sending this into the real reel and they did accept it despite the condition. Um, it took forever to sell just like the Prada top. So I didn't end up getting a whole lot for it, but let's take a look and see what it actually sold for. So here it is, the Christian Dior Skinny Leather Wide Belt. So they had initially um, priced it at $195. And you can actually see in the picture the wear on the hardware, but they listed it as excellent with no signs of wear. So I was a little bit nervous about that, but by the time it sold, it was not returnable. So I did not get a return on that. Um, but it, the actual selling price on it was $78 and I got a $39 commission. So again, every little bit helps since, um, you know, I was already in the profit zone. It's just a little bit extra cushion. So we have three more items. So let's continue. Um, this little box here, I'm... Maybe these are some sunglasses. Yeah, 
they are, they are sunglasses. They are Todd's brand. So those look pretty nice. Um, there may be a little bit of scratching on the lens. I'll have to try to clean those up a little bit. So actually I ended up keeping these and they are my current sunglass frame. So that was awesome. I did not have to pay, you know, the cost for new frames, but I did get my prescription put into them. So that worked out very well that I could get those for free. So let's see what else we got. Eight, so that makes me a little bit nervous that there's gonna be stains. It's Acne Studios and there's quite a bit of pilling on it. So that would certainly need a trip to the sweater shaver. It looks tiny. It's like a cropped sweatshirt with a little zippers on the side. So this was my first time getting the Acne Studios brand. The sweatshirt did need some depilling and cleaning. I believe I also listed this one on Poshmark for quite a while, but it did not sell and I ended up sending it into the Real Real and it did sell there. So let's see what we got on that one. Acne does not sell for the most on the Real Real. As you can see that top one, I only got $12. Um, but the white one actually sold for $75. It was discounted from a starting price of $125, and I got $30. So I was pretty happy with that, especially considering the condition. And let's see what our final item is. Your shoes. It was interesting. I only had one pair of shoes and in this box. these are Manolo Blahniks. They're a suede pump size 40 and a half. They do have a nice like thicker heel at the bottom. There's some marks uh, on the suede right there. That one looks pretty good on the toe. This one, there's just a little bit of scuffing on the toe, but nothing too crazy. So that was my first of many Manolos to come in the future. Um, these were a great pair in very good condition. I did go ahead and sell those on Poshmark. So let's take a look at what I got for those. So those Manolos ended up selling for $104. And my total earnings after fees was $75.75. So let's head on back over to the video, watch the final recap of all the items, and I'll give you the grand total of how much profit I made on this box. Size 40 and a half. So, wow guys, I think this was a really good box. Let me know your thoughts. Um, the sunglasses we got, the Manolo Blahniks. We have this Acme or Acne Studios kind of crop sweatshirt with a lot of wash wear and stains we have the christian dior belt um, and again there is quite a bit of wear on the actual buckle then we have the saint john skirt which was a size 16. we have this little prada top and i don't know if i said but this is a size 40. So I don't know if that might be like a four. I'll have to look up the conversion on that. And then we have the Gucci handbag. So, so yay, again, this was a great box. Um, I would love to get a box just like this again in the future. I always love getting a Gucci handbag that makes for an excellent box. So my total profit and the boxes at this time cost $120 plus tax. So subtracting that from my total profit, I ended up earning $245.10 on the box. And that also included me getting a free pair of sunglasses. And I still have that skirt that I could potentially resell to get some more profit on the box or maybe keep. 
So again, I was very thrilled with this one, especially being my second box I recorded for the designer. So awesome to have another profitable one to show you. So we will be continuing with some more of these recap videos next week. So I'm just going in order from my oldest and just counting up. So we will take a look at the third oldest at some point next week. So I hope you have a wonderful rest of the weekend. And like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I will be back tomorrow doing a jewelry unboxing. So take care and I will talk to you then.